Desire, when, when loba or raga is referred in the Buddha's teaching, refers to sensual pleasure and wanting something without letting it go. That's kind of desire. If you want to practice the Dhamma and cultivate yourself, we can better call that is a wholesome intention, chanda. No, we, we want to become a better human being. That's wonderful. Let it be. Isn't, we cannot uh, put it in the same category as desires for sensual pleasures or to possess either ourselves or somebody else or things, etc., etc. Mm. better let's go to the good news here we go what to do i don't know if you have known about this device but have you heard before about the anger o meter do you know the anger o meter you don't know about it oh i will introduce you i'm very proudly introduce you the anger o meter pa -pang. so i tell you one thing that happened okay a day ne? here comes a day it's monday you need to go to your work and the alarm clock has no battery hmm. <laughs> So you wake up and you see the time and you have to rush, the, you, you are already late. And of course, the angerometer measures how much angry do you get. From zero, zero means peace, 10 means you're already like the lady over here, like totally gone. Eh? So you get a little bit angry, Jesus, I slide, and then you start brushing, brushing the teeth or doing whatever, taking the food. And then you come out and then you find out that the tire of the car is flat. Gee. And of course, your anger was here, but then in the angerometer grows, it goes up to angerometer. And then you change the tire, you get sweaty already, you need to take the sweat, you go out to the street and there is a traffic jam. What happens to your anger? It grows, the angerometer now is on tree. And then, of course, you are right late and your boss you you were not there on time for the meeting of course your boss screams to you and what happens now the angerometer goes here and then you go back home and again you find the the, the 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 traffic you arrive home and you find out that the vase that your grandmother gave you for your wedding was broken by your son playing in the ball you arrive and you find this what do you, if your anger o, anger o meter and your anger is already here, what do you think will happen when you find this? Of course, you arrive home, you get totally crazy, and here comes the injustice. Who paid for the alarm, for the flat tire, your boss and the traffic? Here we have it, your family. Does that happen sometimes? Yeah, very sad, ne? And in Mexico, very sad. We have house violence and very hor horrible things. Why? Why did we allow to come this? Is this fair that our family pays or the dog pays for our day, for the anger? Is it fair? Of course not fair. What are we going to do? Okay, let's use now the angerometer to our, our, our uh, how you say? Benefit. Here comes the, the angerometer. We bring the, ah, sorry, forgot to say that this anger doesn't just accumulate in one day. It can go day after day after day, month after month. If we are not careful about what's happening in our mind, we develop chronic stress, chlor chronic anger. Do you know some person who has, well, I was in the past, and I had chronic anger already. Angry for whatever, without, and then suddenly, uh, it comes some day that that person explodes in one way or another, and even suicide can happen. Okay, so how can we use the anger o meter to our, our advantage? This, here we come. The same situation happens, we are late, and then as we arrive, the only thing, look at the anger here, instead of just continuing, before you turn on the car, you take a few breaths to come back to zero. Use whatever you need. Okay, this is nature, it happens like this. It is natural, yeah, it's a tire, what to do? And then you came back to zero. As you come and face the same thing, you now you have traffic, but you were on zero. Before you were already here in four, you see? Now you are in two and a half. Okay, you get angry because of the traffic. What do you do? Anyway, the car is not moving. You come back to Kaya Nupasana, come back to your body, breath, Ana, Apana, Ana, Kaphei, Fuhei, Kaphei, Fuhei, Kaphei, Fuhei. Okay, and now what do you do? Phew, you come back to your zero. The same happens, you know the drill. You go, your boss screams to you. Before you go home, you come back zero. Again, you see, but you saw, before we were here, you see this thing, and instead of having the uh, habitual reaction, which was this way, 
we start changing on to this one. Wow, sadu, sadu, sadu. So now you learn how to use the angerometer. And what is behind the angerometer? Sati. Awareness, mindfulness. That's why the teachers tirelessly tell us, be mindful, be mindful, be mindful of your mind, chitta nupasana. Be mindful of your body, kaya nupasana. So, questions for everybody. Mm, do you know your zero? I see some faces. <laughs> do you know your zero? Do you know it well? Next one. Do you know how to return to it? Because if you don't know, you need, ne? This is not a luxury. We must know how to come back. I already mentioned some ways. Come back to your breath. Come back to the body. Just take a pause and come back. Remember that everything is natural. Yeah, these things happen in the world. Tires get broken. That's it. Batteries sometimes break. No problem. So we come back with wisdom. If you don't know how to return, please find a way to return to your zero. And then make a check. Is it truly zero? Because sometimes you are a little bit. Are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you I'm fine. Ah, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> so is it really zero? Mm, we need to check that it's really zero. Can you improve its quality? Can you make it fatter, bigger, stronger? It's more stable. Yes, we can. How? Well, the Buddha gave many tools. Can we improve it and sustain it? Yes. And will it be helpful to be in the present, in the past? Will it be helpful to be attentive to the present moment? Of course. Of course. So that's some, some questions for you to keep. Okay, let's move on. So what we will need is some attention, balance, Patience, a lot of patience and wisdom. Everything is natural, everything is okay. And off we go. Deal? Hey, you made it with a monk, huh? <laughs> Here in front of the Buddha, I said the other time. <laughs> Very good. Deal. We also have a ego meter. But ego means vanity, pride, and arrogance. And here I want to make a very important, um, how to say, explanation or information. Normally we understand ego when we are like this, né? like, uh, how you say this? How you call this? Like snobbish and, and uh, hmm. proud and like this. Generally we call this ego because I am better than you, etc. But we have a danger here and this one goes unnoticed. When the person is depressed, that person also says, Oh, I am not good for this. My things are not good. I am very ugly. I, 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 I. Same as the other guy. So the food of ego is not beautiful or ugly, nice or bad. It is I. The ego eats I, me, and mine. So very often we think depressed people has no ego. Oh, if they have ego, they have huge ego. The only problem is that they have worse ego because it's in red numbers. So I am bad, I am ugly, I am fat, I am stupid. Oh, so many things that I said. So that I remember, even when it is low, it will still on and you need to listen. Am I saying a lot of eyes? How many times do you say my something throughout the day? Take a, take a notebook and whatever say, my shoes, my mother, my school, my, 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 I, 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 I check how many times. What we can start changing is the school, the computer, and you will tell me, if I tell you this body, you understand which body, no? This body. You understand. I don't say my body, already the mind, I, 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 I. Anyway, there are ways to do so. Careful with this one. And how do we do normally now the, the, the new ways of doing ego? Oh, my goodness. Everybody has a phone. When was the last time you take a selfie? Oop. <laughs> and of course, you don't put selfie when you wake up or when you are angry. Let me take a selfie. Let me take a selfie. Of course, you never. So this is the new way very easily that we are cult we have a cult for oneself and for the ego very careful because sooner or later because we are only thinking about ourselves we are like prison prisoners of ourselves only i i i me 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 mine 
And you remember the sources of happiness? Service, loving kindness, uh, gratitude, love. Gone. Gone. Why? Because I'm only thinking about me. I'm not thinking about somebody else. I'm alone. You want to be with yourself? I, I, I? Well, you will, we will be alone inside. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. Okay. There is one song that I really love. I mean, the, the lyrics of the song. This was composed by a girl who is deaf. And she's a singer now. And she said in one phrase that I find it wonderful. She said, there is no one for me to blame because I know the only thing in my way, it's me. Isn't it strong? There is no one for me to blame because I know the only thing in my way, it's me. That, that deserves a sadu, 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 very good one. What are we doing about ourselves? Take a look. Let's move forward. Let's move forward beyond our selfishness, beyond ourselves. Here there are some ways. We already saw altruism and service, helping others. Of course, I'm thinking on the other, not in me. Generosity is also thinking on the other. A wonderful way to move away from our selfish selfishness. Non-selfishness, isn't it? We give away. And there are other ways to cultivate the Brahma Viharas, loving somebody else, be compassionate about somebody else, and happy about the happiness of somebody else. But also the ego, how to counteract it. Humility is the opposite of ego. How to develop humility? There are three very simple instructions that I try to remind myself, and they are really logical and beneficial. Whenever you have opportunity to promote yourself, oh, I am very good, I am very strong, I am very smart, I am very rich, abstain from it. No need. And if better, you tell the good qualities of others. That is a sign of humility. Next time you want to promote yourself, abstain from it and check the urge. First instruction. Second, one of the things that the ego is very bad at is to accept his or her mistakes, isn't it? Ego tries to find ways to cover the mistakes because ego is perfect, remember. Ego is perfect. So, uh, 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 no, no, uh, I didn't come late. It's because the bus, the bus, uh, 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 all this because the internet was not working. It starts making excuses. No. A humble person recognized maturely, oh, I made a mistake. I better say I did and immediately goes, oh, I'm sorry. I am responsible for this. How can I help? I have these options. You see, finish, problem finished. Instead of spending hours on what to say, what to say, lie after lie, lie after lie, spending a lot of energy, criticizing oneself, etc. Just accept the mistake. Sorry, I made a mistake. I am responsible. I take full responsibility. My dear family, I have done it a few times and it really works. After you said, the trust of the other person, when they saw you accepting a mistake, their trust in you grows greatly. And if, you, if they catch you hiding something, oh, their trust is on the floor. So you finish with the, with the, with the thing, situation soon, finish. So that's another, another characteristic of humble people. Uh, may we, all of us try it. I will continue trying my best. And the last quality of humble people is that generally humble people listen very beautifully. They can stay with you and listen. And when they speak something, it is meaningful. Instead of wanting to talk and talk and talk about their stories, their achievements or whatever, listening is a very good quality. So remember, we have non-promotion of oneself, acceptance of mistakes, and uh, be a good listener. That's why they say, that's why we have only one mouth and two ears. Né? We have two ears, two ears. Nature gave us two ears to listen more. And fortunately, <laughs> only one. So that's it. If we, we want to know. So this and the last one, eh, we will finish with this one. The last obstacle in one of the mains is ignorance. And what kind of ignorance? Not knowing how life works. 
and how accepting it. I'm, I'm saying we born as we saw Jaramaranang so Kaparideva, Jati Jaramaranang so Kaparideva, Dukka Domanasu Paya Sambawanti, we know all that. But in life, yes, we born and it takes work to do, but also we have some moments of happiness friendship and also kindness and our families together isn't it so life continue to go as long as we don't accept nature yes old age sooner or later will come to our family members to ourselves and yes sickness is normal yet while we're alive and yes sometimes nature arises and passes away when we try to hide nature it becomes very troublesome we cannot be truly happy but when we accept this now we can be, everything is accepted. So what obstacle do I have? So my dear family, let's breathe in. Kap hei, fu hei. Ah, and when we exhale, I want you to think, everything is nature. Everything is natural. We breathe in and breathe out. Ah, everything is natural. Mm, no problem. Kap hei, fu hei. Ah. Everything is natural, no problem, and we are all together. So how can I use this possibility, this, this opportunity? Okay, we know we make peace with this. Have we made peace with it? If not, we must. We must have our, know our zero and make peace with nature. That will be already very helpful and the obstacles will be moved. The waves of life will continue to hit us. They will not stop. Sometimes something happens, but if I'm looking like this and the wave is coming, and wh wh what happened? And another wave will come, and you know how you call this one? When the sea makes you like this, how you call that? When, huh? Sorry? Tumble, yeah, when you're tumble, but it's blah, 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 you don't know where it is. Better, we look forward, and anyway, if the waves are happening, better take a board and have fun. <laughs> Let's have fun with the waves of life. They will continue coming. I'm not fighting them. I'm using them to develop wisdom. I'm using them to develop even joy. Why? Because I already accepted them. Don't fight nature. It is greater than us. <laughs> <laughs> we will always lose. So let's make peace, friendship with nature, and we have fun. We know what kind of things brings us happiness. is uh, possible to do in our daily life. And that's it. I really wish for all of us and all of our families, your mother and father, wherever they are, our brothers, sisters, children, grandchildren, friends, teacher, people we know, people we don't know, including also the people with whom we have had problems in the past or are having problems now. May they and their families be well. Here there is no malice. I know the obstacles. I know the cure. May all of us choose wisely. Mm. And that's really my heartfelt wish for all of us. May our paths open <laughs> and our happiness, the happiness be stable, mature. And I want to offer uh, as a monastic, please count with us monks. Please count with me as a spiritual friend. Please count with this community. You have a wonderful thing happening here and we continue together. Thank you very much. Sadu, 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 sadu. sadu. Mm.